here at the Sundance Film Festival in Park City, Utah, outside of the famed Egyptian Theater, sort of the spiritual center of the festival. Just about to have an opening press conference with founder Robert Redford, who will fill us in on what's happening in the next 10 days or so here at the festival. Intensity is the word used by festival director John Cooper to describe Sundance 2015. The films this month, screening January 22nd through February 1st, push boundaries of documentary truth and dramatic fiction. Opening weekend, we'll see an emphasis on newsmaking documentaries, which have the potential to change public policy. They include Racing Extinction, Louis C. Hoyos shocked Sundance in 2009 and later won the Oscar for Best Documentary Fiction for The Cove, a film exposing the brutal treatment of dolphins by Japanese fishermen. He's back with Racing Extinction, a doc that aims his probing lens at impending cases of mass extinction everywhere and it promises to change the way you look at the world. The Amina Profile. The deceptions and dangers of social media are presented in sharp relief in this documentary by Montreal's Sophie Derasp, which plays like a suspense thriller. It shows what happened when a Quebec woman fell in love online with a gay lesbian blogger in Damascus, Syria, during the Arab Spring social revolutions of recent times. Other docs to watch for at Sundance 2015 are Going Clear, a Scientology expose by Oscar winner Alex Gibney that has already been denounced by Scientology in a full page ad in the New York Times. Kirby Dick's The Hunting Ground, which takes a searing look at campus rape and institutional cover-ups, and Mark Silver's Three and a Half Minutes, which studies the aftermath of the 2012 slaying of an unarmed black teen who was fatally shot at a Florida gas station by a white man who objected to his loud rap music. Then there's True Story, a cat and mouse drama which actually is based on a true story about a disgraced New York Times reporter, played by Jonah Hill, whose identity was stolen by an accused killer, played by James Franco. There's record Canadian content at Sundance 2015 and its friendly rival Slamdance. Two fascinating Canuck fictions at Sundance are The Forbidden Room, another out there adventure from Winnipeg's prairie surrealist Guy Madden, and Hellions from Toronto's Bruce McDonald. Park City at Midnight Spook Show, but a teen who gets very scary trick or treaters at her front door one Halloween night. Follow my coverage of Sundance and Slamdance in the Toronto Star, thestar.com. I'm Peter Howell.